This is a brand new for 2023 Lenovo All-in-One or AIO. You can see there it's the Idea Center and it is an all-in-one AMD model. So all-in-one meaning it's gonna be a monitor and it's gonna have a computer built into it. I think they have larger ones. This is not their largest AIO. I believe they have like 32 inch ones. Uh, this one is not a monster by any means. Uh, gonna be good for, you know, probably students, businesses, and that would be fantastic as well. This is the AMD model. There is an Intel model, but I wanted to get AMD for the benefit of the integrated graphics. Uh, pivot there, nice base on it. Classic base, nothing fantastic or abnormal there. It basically just looks like a typical Lenovo ThinkVision monitor. Sound by Harman Kardon over there. Uh, Ethernet there, two USB-A, two more USB-A, power and HDMI. So decent enough I.O. over there. Plug in your monitor, plug in your keyboards, and you'll get your internet. If you're gonna do HDMI out, because you can have a second monitor, of course, because it's an actual computer. And then this here is for an optional optical drive. Uh, I guess you can expect these out with an optical drive if need be, CD, optical drive. We'll get it set up. Accessories wise, I mean, we get our power here. Lenovo power brick. How many watts is this here? 90 watts. So I don't actually have one of those, so we're gonna open it up for hiding your cables there. And then of course we do have the keyboard that comes with it. I believe this is one of those generic Lenovo keyboards. They're not great, but I mean, you get a keyboard with it, so you can use it day one. Alrighty, and here we are set up. Bring it back here. This is a huge monitor, by the way, so it looks dwarfing to this. This is like a 32-ish, kind of a weird aspect ratio. Um, so you can see here, it's a pretty big screen, though, 27 inch, nice, nice screen. Um, it's a 1080p screen, though, so you're not gonna get, you know, massively fine resolution, but it's an AIO, so I mean, you're probably not getting this, you know, because you want to do 4K gaming, right? You're gonna get this to do, you know, business type work, professional work, that kind of stuff here. So this is the AMD model. You might see some of that hatching. You can't see that in real life, obviously. Um, yeah, so this is the AMD model, 7530U. If you wanna compare that, you know, this is the weird naming conventions. Basically, this is a 5500U. So an AMD 5500U or 5600U, however you wanna do that. Uh, true six cores, 12 threads, you know, not no performance cores versus E cores is real six core processing. So it's actually a very capable CPU. Uh, it is a laptop CPU, but you know, a couple generations old, but it is still very capable. You're gonna get Vega graphics with this here. It doesn't say that it is Vega graphics. It just says Radeon, but Vega graphics. Uh, again, capable, very, very capable. You can do gaming and emulation on it, no problem whatsoever. It's just not gonna be AAA gaming from 2024, but you'll be able to do some old stuff. Uh, looks like we do have a Micron SSD in there. We'll check out what that is in terms of speeds in that. RAM wise, we have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Sodium there, 3200 megahertz. So uh, I guess you can upgrade it technically. So it actually came with a decent mouse. It came with a Bluetooth mouse, or came with a uh, wireless mouse. It actually has a dongle that's plugged into the back there. Uh, basically just put in the batteries, put the dongle in, and it looks like it works for the mouse and the keyboard. The keyboard I didn't even like turn on, I just put the batteries in, um, and then you know right away it's working. So that single dongle is enough for both of these here. Um, it's a Lenovo mouse, it's nothing special, but it's actually not bad, it's nice and precise. Keyboard's nothing special here, you know, we'll do a little typing thing here. But for professional work, again, it's gonna be totally fine. If you get a better, if you want a better keyboard, just buy one. But I mean, this will get you rolling day one. You're gonna pull this out of the box and you're gonna be cooking. It does have the numpad on it and it is a full keyboard, so. Yeah, it's fine, a little bit gummy. It's a generic, generic keyboard. You know, if you've used generic keyboards, then this is about as generic as it gets. It is a Lenovo, so it comes bundled with Vantage software. Vantage is where you can do, you know, generally tweaking, that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can do stuff here, like you can see the warranty. Oh, it's got a pretty long warranty. January of 2025, so that's more than a year. That's interesting. So it actually comes with more than a year warranty. Uh, you can do updates in here. So you come in here, you click your updates, and then, you know, it'll provide the specific driver-based stuff. I always recommend going with your OEM before you go with Windows updates. Okay, now I'm gonna do an audio test here. We'll see how it sounds and uh, get an audio meter. It's gonna get really loud. I'm not, whoa, okay. Even that is loud. That's <laughs> some loud speakers, holy smokes. Maybe because it's supposed to be used in a work environment or something, it's got incredibly loud speakers. Okay, so um, speakers are 
actually fantastic. They are the best built-in monitor speakers I've ever heard in my entire life. Um, it's a low bar because I mean, normally I'm comparing to like, you know, this kind of stuff that just has like functional speakers built in, but wow, does that have a lot of bass. Um, I am thoroughly impressed with that speaker. So the screen here is actually a very impressive screen. It's a 99% sRGB screen. I can't find the specs here, but yeah, there we go. So a, it's a you know, 27 inch full HD. It's not fine resolution or anything like that. So, you know, it's not gonna be, you know, the most crisp screen in the world, unfortunately. I'd love to see 1440p model of this. Um, you know, the cost is gonna go up pretty fast if you do that though. Um, but, you know, it's touch screen. What the hell? I didn't realize it's a touch screen. So it's a touch screen. Um, apparently, I didn't realize that, I guess for the work environment. And then it has 99% sRGB, so really good color range there, um, color space. Um, 300 nits, it's bright enough. You know, you're not taking this thing outside. That's really cool, actually. I mean, I don't know why you would use touch. I guess if you're using it like a point of sale or something. Yeah, like you could load up a point of sale software on here and, you know, use it for that. Like if you have your own business or something like that. I mean, this is a huge screen to have for a business, but you could have a 27 inch screen, I guess. And then, you know, rather than navigating with the mouse and maybe the mouse is just a pain in the butt to have on the desk and you have a navigating, you know, touch base interface, you can come through here and navigate real quick and, you know, do your work like that. And right off the bat, I can see, you know, that 99% sRGB in action here. Good reds, that's an area that I initially first start to notice, um, you know, if it doesn't have a good color space, you know, the reds usually look kind of orange or super washed out. Turn that down. Again, it's only 1080p, so it's not going to be super crisp or anything, but the actual color space is quite nice. So, uh, you yeah, know, we'll come into this video here. I like this one too. Crisp enough, honestly, it's crisp enough. Again, you're not going to be doing 4K video editing on this type of device here, you know, that kind of work. It just doesn't have, doesn't have the resolution you'd probably want for something like that, but it certainly has the color. 99% sRGB is going to look quite nice overall. Yeah, that's that looks nice. That looks really nice, actually. Um, probably a little better in person, actually, I'm noticing. Here's a cool little feature. It actually comes with Game Pass. I didn't anticipate it would come with Game Pass because it's an AIO. You know, it doesn't have, like, a dedicated graphics or anything like that. But again, it's AMD. AMD have great a iGPUs. This is just going to be... Uh, Vega graphics. It's going to be the end stage Vega graphics. So they're very capable. I've done lots of reviews of Vega graphics. Even in 2024, you're going to be able to play games on it. Okay, I'm running some Cinebench here. So obviously we're taxing the system. Let's check the noise here. Yep, so the fans are going. You can hear them. Certainly not problematic or overly loud or anything like that. And I plugged in an HDMI cable to the back and I hooked it up to my 4K display here. It's a weird ratio, but it's a 4K display and it works totally fine. This thing only goes up to 60 Hertz and it's getting 4K 60 on here. No problem whatsoever as soon as I plugged it in. So that's really nice that, you know, you can have a second monitor hooked up just right off of your AIO here. Okay. Well, I installed this. I got my camera app open. It knows that it's closed here. So let's just slide this up. And there we go. My messy office. I got the box back there. You can see in the background. Um, pretty bad lighting actually because I, I took my monitor out of here um, So, you know, normally I have like monitor lights in front of me I do have a little bit of lighting here. I can bring in some here little pop-up thing right there My office has really bad lighting right now because I'm working on just totally reworking my desk Which is a perfect time for me to film this video So my lights are all taken off my monitors everything from the front is gone I just have this pretty brutal light on the right here very very white light same on the left there um, and and then it's pretty dark behind me and you can see it's just the messy boxes behind me for the monitor itself and another one that I'm working on. But it looks pretty good, I would say. I think it's, you know, just a generic webcam, nothing special. You know, you're not going to be streaming off. I guess you could. I mean, you could stream with this thing. It's totally fine. But, you know, it's more for like if you had this in like a lab type setting, say you're buying for a university or something right now. Um, the ones that I teach in, the labs that I teach in have this type of monitor here and then they have a... Uh, pop-up camera like this, which is perfect for online learning. If you're in the lab, you got to meet with your prof or whatever. Just a few benchmarks here. We can see here that the SSD is a Gen 3 drive, upper tier Gen 3 in terms of reads, 3300. 
Rates are okay, 1800. I mean, it's going to be totally fine for day-to-day -day use. It's relatively fast overall. I did test out some of the USBs in the back, and you can see here that they are going to be basically five gigabit per second ports or so. So you're going to see here, you know, 400 megabytes a second reads and writes or so. So that's totally fine. Again, Wi-Fi on it is quite fast again. So we're going to be getting 500 megabytes a second download or so, 650 uploads. That's about as fast as my Wi-Fi goes overall. So overall, the benchmark results are pretty steady over here. Exactly what you expect out of a device like this. Emulation is going to be a breeze for this CPU here. I mean, you're going to multi-core 5600U is basically what it is. Uh, so, you know, emulating even more demanding systems like Dreamcast here is going to be a breeze for it. As you can see, it's just perfectly smooth. You could do scaling in that too. I'm just going to kind of get an idea of, you know, how it runs. Okay, and here we go. A brand new, well, on the summer 2023 game, very highly rated here. We're going to do it at 1080p just to show what we can do 1080p let's throw it on low whatever 1080p low see what we can do here this is jagged alliance 3 fantastic game it's a strategy style game right so 2023 games like this jagged alliance top down games like this they're just not going to be quite as demanding and you know you can see here we're getting like 45 fps i could play with the settings and i could we're getting 45 fps which is very very playable in this game and it looks great right looks fantastic tweak the setting play around with it you'll be fine so you know more reasonably demanding 2023 games you're gonna have no problem playing them on vega graphics you know vega graphics are still very capable and then you know if you want to play the demanding 3d you know shooters 3d story based games very demanding games yeah you're not going to be getting away with 2023 games but a couple of years old 2020 and before you could probably get away with them just tweak the settings and you'll be good to go here so overall i mean you can do a lot with these graphics here play a lot of games you just have to be reasonable with what you're doing here older games are going to run like an absolute charm on these vega graphics okay well i guess that's that that's the lenovo aio the brand new 2023 model they released at the end of 2023 uh, I think it's actually a great option for people. You know, if you're just looking for a computer, you just pick this up, you get your monitor built in, you can do all the processing you need, you can set up a second monitor. Uh, for productivity tasks, it's gonna be more than enough. The chip in, the chipset in here, very, very capable. Um, you know, they're still being made, still being sold on a lot of different laptops. So you're gonna be totally fine with that. Even if you're doing demanding tasks, video editing, 4K video editing, you're gonna have no problem on this device here. It's gonna be totally fantastic. Um, you know, it comes with some goodies, some, you know, mice and keyboard. They're fine. They'll definitely get you rolling right off the bat. You can certainly get more, get a new one, whatever. That's fine, though. I think for students, it's actually a good option, too, because, I mean, students, you know, you basically get yourself a laptop, take that to class. This is an all suitable alternative for that. I mean, it's going to be great. But I think also for professionals, right, you know, for business, professionals, that kind of thing, especially with that touchscreen is really cool. Um, you know, you set this up in your workspace and it's actually a really compelling option. I would like to see some upgrades next year from Lenovo. What I would like to see is a 1440p offering on this screen size here. 27 inch at 1440p would be fantastic. And I would like to see them introduce uh, higher end AMD chips. Uh, you could probably get away with just the 6000 series and get yourself some 680M graphics then as a result. You can play some like actual AAA modern games in that. Um, it'd be fantastic if it had some Phoenix range, 7840U type processor, 7840H type processors in here. This isn't a review unit or anything. Lenovo didn't send this out. I just saw it on their website. It appeared and I thought, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, and the price was actually pretty compelling at the time. It was a Black Friday sale and it was actually pretty cheap, realistically. Um, and I thought, you know what? I haven't done one of these AIOs before. Let's pick it up and let's do a review of it. And I think it's actually pretty cool overall. Not going to be for everybody, but I think for people who are interested in all-in-one computers, this is a really good option uh, for them to consider.